Hello, everybody. Um, my name is Alex Mills. I'm Client Partnership Director at Quantcast. Um, it's a pleasure to be here at Programmatic Pioneers. Thank you very much for joining our session. I'm joined here uh, with Polly Nash, who is the Head of Digital Media at William Hill. Uh, Polly, do you want to explain a little bit more about your role and what you're responsible for? Absolutely. Um, I head the digital media team at William Hill and it's a team of 10 uh, digital media specialists whose skills range from programmatic uh, buying through to operations, ad operations and in-app affiliates management. Um, and our main objective is to drive profitable traffic to William Hill's website and app. Um, but it's also to support our brand team um, when needed by facilitating the booking of the above the line media. Well, as I said, thanks very much for joining us. Um, in terms of uh, challenges that you face as a business, what, what are the main uh, digital marketing challenges? Well, if you allow me to answer this question in a slightly different way, um, the biggest opportunities for William Hill um, is to embrace the changing um, digital media landscape. And it wasn't that long ago that we finally started opening um, our, our look at uh, the way that we approach MTA and MMM and, um, and actually baking these different ways um, of seeing the media into our marketing plans uh, instead of just relying solely on last click measurement uh, for decision making. Um, and I think with the, with the way that the industry is going at the moment, um, actually um, being more open to deterministic, uh, to probabilistic versus deterministic measurement um, is really the way forward. And we've seen that with IDFA, um, which has been the most recent uh, wake up call for us is to take that step in this direction. You know, I, I would lie if I say that IDFA has changed nothing for us. Actually, it's made, uh, it's made it harder for us to lean on personalization um, and to accurately track um, our app activity. Um, and consolidation has actually been a buzzword for a number of years now, uh, but um, now consolidation doesn't just uh, cover ad tech, um, it, it actually spreads to um, measurement approaches as well. Um, and what I would really love to see from an industry is an accessible measurement system working across all channels with a single view of the customer, um, perhaps one that IAB um, has put their stamp on, um, that would be my wish. For, for the future. Yeah, and that could be one of the benefits of the, the demise of the, the third party cookie, the fact that you have a unified ID solution that actually um, is cross channel as well. Um, so with first party data, um, I mean, never really being more important than it is now, uh, what first party data do you have access to and um, what are you doing to sort of leverage it as much as you can? Yeah, I really liked the moment when Ingrid talked about um, how she loves offers from her favorite brands, um, especially at the moment when she's ready um, uh, to take these offers on in the moment that's right for her. Um, and this has resonated with me because in the past three years, it's been a, a huge uh, focus for William Hill. Uh, it's, it's been about how do we leverage our first party data um, to make our programmatic buying as useful um, as possible for our customer base. Um, and we try to simplify uh, the customer experience by using various data points, uh, which have been lovingly prepared by our data scientists um, on the most granular level possible, really. Uh, but on the most granular level, um, that's reasonable to use as well, uh, because we, we shouldn't forget that sometimes um, huge granularity um, actually doesn't add that much value. Um, so that's why I say uh, as reasonable uh, as we can. Um, and we break down our audiences by various criteria, but the biggest one is product preference. Um, and we've seen that we are able to um, achieve so much more by understanding how individual customers prioritize their interests on one side, but also um, how do we surface offers to them in the right context. Um, and we're taking it further by activating um, our CDP as a true multi-platform single view of the customer. And from an acquisition point of view, um, leveraging Quoncast first party data has really amplified our ability to prospect new in-market audiences. Brilliant, great to hear. A um, lot of work being done there. Um, and I guess it also sort of aligns with the, the demise of the third party cookies, which was obviously announced a long time ago. Um, 
how do you think the, the industry, industry is sort of progressing um, in, in coming up with a solution? And do you think they're prepared? Do you think, are you, are you prepared? Yeah, a million dollar question. Um, I think it's it's amazing to see how quickly the industry is reacting to these announcements and the tech side is responding by building probabilistic solutions and by making huge leaps of innovation in, in digital marketing. Quoncast are somewhat in a favorable position as they stand on a very solid foundation with Quoncast measure um, and other tech providers such as the trade desk have made huge advancements with their unified ID. Um, and we can see on the publisher side um, that they're responding by the formation of, um, of, for example, Ozone, which aims to give a single view of customer using their own first party data. Um, we started preparing towards the end of last year and we've done the due diligence by exploring the approach that various technology providers have taken and by really understanding uh, what will work best with our existing partners. Um, Quoncast are already testing cookie um, testing cookie solution in ITP and Firefox, uh, which we're collaborating with them. Uh, and that's really exciting for us. Yeah, and I, I think, um, you know, when, when the industries and, you know, we've had a number of problems and things thrown at the industry over the past few years, you know, GDPR being one, but we always come up with a solution. So um, it might be last minute, but we, I'm sure we get there. Um, and then finally, as Ingrid mentioned, um, we have the Quoncast platform. Um, William Hill were a very early adopter of it. Um, can you just talk briefly a, a little bit about your experiences? Yeah, uh, well, my team sits in the performance marketing organization of William Hill, and as such, we work towards really aggressive CPA targets. Um, and Quoncast has been instrumental in helping us achieve those targets. Um, the ease of use of the platform has been extremely helpful and, and it's really made it its adoption um, a no-brainer for us. Um, the way that the campaigns are set up somewhat resembles how social media campaigns are built in a sense that it's, it's quite intuitive um, and simple, but it's really powerful. And uh, when we started using the platform at the beginning, actually, we there were some features that were missing, for example, data partners and keyword blocking capabilities. But we've worked with the Quoncast team in adding these features for us. Um, and we've actually found the team to be super helpful and very responsive. Uh, we're not the easiest of clients, we're quite demanding, but um, I found that the Quoncast team has been very accommodating to us. And it spreads from things like keyword blocking capabilities to actually integrating preferred technology providers. Um, and yeah, uh, it's really helped um, make Quoncast an integral part of our programmatic plans. Looking ahead, I'm very excited to see how we can work uh, more closely together in the above the line field too. Um, that's probably the next big step for us to, in taking our partnership further. Amazing, well, that, that's brilliant to hear. Um, Polly, thank you very much for, for, for joining um, us today. Really appreciate your time. Um, I hope everyone's found the, the session valuable um, and insightful. If you have any questions for either Polly or myself, please don't hesitate to get in touch with either one of us. Thank you. Thank you.